So Viking had a pretty good sale going on last week and I uh, couldn't resist any longer. I've been wanting to get some of these for quite a while. So we're going to uh, see if we can't get these installed today. Shouldn't take too terribly long, I'm hoping. Um, so I think first thing I got to do is remove this for the throw over part on both sides. So I'm going to get on that, remove that. So they actually give you on the inside here, these little wing nuts, they should remove the little throw over handle here. So we're going to do that. All right. So you remove these two wing nuts on the inside, a little throw over portion tassel and everything comes right off. We're not going to use that. So we're going to hang on to this stuff for now in case we need it, but we don't need it. So step one, we're going to do that on both sides for both bags. I mean, so first thing I'm going to do, <clears throat> I'm actually going to remove this bolt here. This is a number six millimeter. I am going to take this one off and verify that it is the right, uh, the one that they sent is correct. Uh, seeing as how everybody said, typically they send the wrong ones or the wrong tread depth. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out and take a look. There's the factory one. It's pretty short. So I'm going to check the tread depth. So actually, these are the right tread uh, pitch, tread size and everything. They do actually go in. I just ran it in. It looks like if I use both of these spacers, that it's going to be right about the right length, maybe just a hair too long. But we'll see, um, we'll see if that works. Obviously, this kind of... You know, so what I'm going to end up doing is going to look like this. I don't know if the glare is bad or not right here, but that's going to be the inside of the bag. Bag wall is going to be here. So I'm going to actually put the spacers on the inside. <clears throat> and then this is going to be flush up against the mount for the sissy bar. So I'm going to have to do, drill a little hole drill a hole in the bag itself, and then we'll match it up to the other side so it's exactly the same. Be right back. So the bolts are the right size, which was I was that was one of my main concerns was if they were the right size or not. If I use this mounting point and this mounting point, um, then that one may have to be tilted a little bit. Not sure that's going to work if I do that. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's going to work. <clears throat> Looks like they sent two different sets of nuts and bolts. And the thread pitch. Yeah, thread pitch is different. So they sent four that we are not going to use. And they did send four that are the correct thread pitch. I don't know if anybody's ever figured that out before about Viking, if they send two different sets, because these are all the same thread pitch. These are not thread pitch is different on these. These are not the same. I'm gonna set those aside. So these are the four that we're gonna use. <coughs> Just hopeful that with this bracket being sideways that it's not gonna hurt. We're gonna go with it. We're gonna try it. We're going to mount There we go. All right. So I'm going to drill these four holes. Mount this the fat bracket as they call it. This is going to go on the inside, this goes on the inside, and this goes on the outside of each one of these. Let's see if I can do this without dropping everything. Yeah. Easier said than done, I'm sure. All 
All right, got that one in. No washer on the inside, which I'm sure is an important misstep with it being that the washer on the inside helps stabilize everything. All right. These three have lock washers on the inside here. The long one's going to go through here. This is what's going to mount it to the back of the motorcycle. Okay, so don't be a dummy like me. You don't need all three of these. You actually need, only need one of these bolts at the bottom. Because they only give you four of these short ones. So one of those goes on each of these bags. So the long one and the short one, the long one and the short one. So one of these is coming off. Big dummy. Right now, I've got this one mounted. I had to pull the, the rear seat off so that I could get the thing open far enough. But I don't know if you can see down in there. I've got the spacer. I'm getting the 6 millimeter bolt tightened, and that's kind of slow going right now. That's what this is all about right here. So I got this one already tight. It is the right size. And who knows? I may have to leave the seat off. We'll see. I don't want to bore you guys with this. That is one side done, finally. So you got your bolts there. And the bolts there, they are all tight. I'm afraid that with the seat on, it's going to be difficult to open them. So we'll, we'll tackle that once we get to that point. That is bag number one. Bag number one, done. It is secure. There is some room between there and the belt guard, right? Yeah, man, flying by the seat of my pants on this one. This is terrible. It's a lot more, uh, much more of a pain in the butt than I thought it was going to be. Hey, kitty cat. All right, bag number two. So everybody says you're supposed to compare the other bag with this bag. I'm pretty sure I can pair that up. I got a good eyeball. It was right there. The other one was right here. So that's what it looked like. We're going to go with that. So I'm only going to drill the two holes that I need, or three holes that I need for this one. And then take the other side off the bolts for the other side of the sissy bar see if i can't get that mounted up and then i will see you guys at the very last for final pictures see y'all